friends, Krista here. Thank you for stopping by Books and Jams. Today I'm going to be talking about my September TBR. This is actually going to be kind of like part one or part two of my TBR because I'm going to split talking about series September and everything else that I'm going to read throughout the month. So these today are just going to be the books that are not part of a series that I will be reading in the month of September. And I only, I tried to keep this list very minimal so that I can spend most of my reading time focusing on series September. If you're not sure what series September is, be sure to check out the video that I'll link down below. It's a month long readathon that I'm hosting with Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand, where we just focus on reading some series, continuing series, starting series, ending series, all that jazz. But today we're not talking about series, we're talking about the rest of the books that I plan on reading in the month of September. First and most importantly, I will be finishing Les Miserables in September by Victor Hugo. This is a chunkamunga that I have been working on since, when did we start this? July? I've been working on it for all of July, all of August, and will be finishing. I'm right here where that is right now. This is what I need to finish by the weekend. Yeah, I will be finishing this chunker in September, the very first two weeks, I believe, of September. So I'm really excited to be finishing this one up. I have enjoyed my reread. I'm listening to it on audio. And I love knowing that I'm reading it along with other people. There have been parts for sure that have been super slow or confusing or where I get lost. But overall, I am really enjoying this one. Along with that, I would also love to finish the uh, engaging visual journey of Les Mis. This is just an abridged version of the book and I'm really enjoying reading this. I haven't actually picked it up in a bit over a week but I would like to finish this whole thing in September as well. So it's almost like I'm reading Les Mis twice <laughs> but this has been very helpful in kind of not summarizing but helping to be a little bit more clear about what's actually going on in some of the parts. So yeah I'm really enjoying this and it has beautiful, I know I've shown it before, but it it just has beautiful illustrations and quotes throughout the book. Some paintings. Yeah, it's just it's just a really lovely way to read the book. So I would like to finish that in September. Then I am going to be joining Amanda from The Curly Reader. She's kind of doing a group read of The Only Plane in the Sky by Garrett Graff. This is an oral history of 9-11 and this being the 20th anniversary, I thought this would be a perfect year to read this. I believe it just came out last year, um, but I've heard that the audio of this is spectacular. So I plan on kind of doing both listening and reading. It starts on September 10th and then we just kind of have clips of people's stories. So it's kind of broken up into different things. There are some illustrations in here. Um, this is going to be so incredibly hard to read, but I've heard that it's spectacularly done on audio and that's how I kind of want to consume it along with reading the text. So I will be participating with Amanda in this and I believe there will be a live show on September 11th at noon Eastern, I want to say. If you're interested in reading this one, commemorating the 20th anniversary of the attacks on the Twin Towers. Um, this is going to be a difficult read, but I'm just really interested in reading this and yeah, remembering it's going to break my heart. It's going to break my heart. I also kind of am using this TBR as an announcement video. I absolutely loved doing a group read of Mere Christianity in May and a lot of people requested doing another group read of kind of a like a classic Christian nonfiction. And so I did a community post with three choices and The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer absolutely won that community vote. So we will be reading The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer in September. This is a very short book. I think it's just, just barely over 100 pages. Yeah, 120 something pages. So it's very short. And so what I'm planning is to read this the second two weeks of September. So this book will be the first two weeks of September. And then this one I'll be reading the last two weeks of September. And there will be a live show discussion again. I do, I'm kind of behind the ball here in as far as inviting specific people to join me in that live. So if you have a YouTube channel and you're interested in helping me to talk through it and discuss this book on the live. I believe there are 10 chapters. So we will read chapters one through five in that third week of September and then chapters six through 10 
in the second week of September and discuss them on a live together. So uh, more information about that will be forthcoming. I will probably do another community post and I will be talking about it again, but just wanted to officially announce Septozer. Let's read The Pursuit of God together. I'm really excited about this as well. And finally today I have two books that I'm carrying over from August and that's because they are five-star predictions. One from my original five-star prediction that I did back in 2020. Still haven't finished all those five books. Shame. And then one from my most recent NetGalley five-star prediction. So The Vanishing Half by Brett Bennett was one that I predicted a long time ago was going to be a five-star read and I still haven't read it. And this is the last one in that group that I need to read. So I really would like to get to this soon. It's a shame that I haven't gotten to it already. And the other one is The Elephant's Girl by Celesta Remington. Remington. And this one is a net galley book that I have, but I also own the book now. So I would like to read this one. I believe this is about a tornado that comes and picks up a little girl and drops her in the zoo and they cannot find her original family. She's kind of raised by the zookeeper and has a special connection with an elephant. I believe there's more than that, possibly a little bit of magical realism involved, but I just think that this is gonna be lovely and a middle grade and I'm really excited for it. So this is my, ooh. <laughs> it just fell right off. <sighs> so this is my relatively small September TBR. Trust me, there will be lots more with my series books, but I would like to prioritize some of these and get these read in the month of September, along with a whole bunch of series books. But uh, if you would like to join me in reading The Pursuit of God and or The Only Plane in the Sky, these two are kind of group reads. So I would love for you to join in. This one, Amanda from The Curly Reader is hosting and this one I'll be hosting. So let me know if you'd like to join in with those. Let me know what you're looking forward to reading in the month of September. I would love to chat with you about these books or anything else down in the comments below. You guys know I always love talking with you down there. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be talking with you in another video very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.